very frequently, you might be required to plan ahead and create a budget. Typically, budget consists of future forecast revenue and expenses, and typically you do budget for a month, quarter, or a year. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a budget using a new feature of Microsoft Excel called Excel Tables. We will look at what Excel Tables are, how you can use structured reference to access Excel Tables using formulas, and then I'll show you how to create a budget using Excel Tables. To calculate budget with Excel Tables, let's first look at the data. We have Excel spreadsheet with the imports from ERP system, Enterprise Resource Planning, and it contains three tabs. We're looking at Company Operating Expenses tab, which has uh, three columns, Operating Expenses, Estimated, and Actuals. We also have Company Personnel Expenses, and uh, they're structured in a very similar way. They have Expense Categories, Estimated, and then Actuals. And then we have Company's Revenue, uh, which is a Revenue Category, and then Estimated and Actuals. A couple considerations and definitions here. Budget is typically consists of the variance between estimated value, which was estimated ahead of time, and the actual, which was actually spent and uh, tracked. So typically the reason to reconcile budget is when we want to look uh, how well we estimated and how well our actuals actually match uh, estimated values. Another big consideration here, all values here are positive even though revenues typically uh, adds to the company's value and expenses typically considered to be negative. So ideally, what we should do, we should look at having our revenue as a positive sign values and personal expenses and operating expenses being the negative sign values. Before we go and continue working on the budget, let's look at how Excel tables are typically organized. By default, Excel tables consist of three elements. We have Excel table header row, table data, which is highlighted in yellow color. And then we have table total rows. Header row is designed for sort and filtering. And also it is designed so it shows you top row and column names at all times. For example, if you have more rows that can fit on the screen and you need to scroll, you see that the header row now shows up as part of the embedded Excel column names. Excel header row also provides you capability with sort and filtering of the data, very similar to sort and filtering of the typical Excel range that was available in Excel before. Excel tables typically have banded rows, meaning that each other row is a different color, so you can quickly understand uh, and easily manipulate with the data. You can change the style of this in the table design options. There are a lot of different styles available. You just need to highlight the style that you would like to see and it changes automatically for that particular table. Excel tables project calculations to the entire row. For example, we have estimated column and we have actuals column. Typically in the range what you would need to do if you need to calculate the difference between estimated and actuals, you would need to insert another column, maybe call it difference. And in the typical Excel range you would need to put formula in each one of these rows. In Excel table, you only need to put formula in just one cell in the new row. For example, your formula might be B2 estimated minus actual. And as you can see, Excel automatically calculates the values for all rows by just you inserting the formula into one of the cells. As you can see, the way Excel references Excel columns is also very different. Instead of referencing them as the particular value, for example, of the cells, maybe B2 minus C2, Excel references them as at estimated in square brackets minus at actuals. This is called structured reference in Excel tables. Excel table also contains totals row, and typically totals uses subtotal function to reference Excel values in this particular column. If we look closely at the syntax of subtotal function, you see that it followed by the number and also we reference the column, specific column. In our case, it's an estimated column. That's the subtotal we are looking at. So this number has a meaning. If you look to the right, uh, there are different values of uh, formulas that could be used within subtotal. For example, value corresponding to 109 is some function. So the way you should read this function and structure the function is uh, by looking at this cross-reference and 109 means sum and in our case subtotal means that this would be sum of the estimated values within the estimated column. 
Another cool feature subtotal function provides is that you can reference it with the same syntax anywhere in Excel. Because table name is unique, you can just copy subtotal or type it in manually and paste it uh, anywhere in your Excel spreadsheet. For example, if I copy this and then paste it somewhere else, you will see that uh, the value, and I just need to expand it so I can see it, is a little bit different because it references the table name, which is company expenses, but it uses 109, which is the sum function, and also sums up all the values from the estimated column. And now, let's look at how you would reference tables totals in Excel formulas. To refer to totals section of Excel table, you would need to specify the table name after the equal sign, and in square brackets, add pound totals. Sometimes you may need to also specify a specific column of the totals section that you would like to reference. So let's look how can you do it for company's expenses table. In this table, we have two totals in the row 21. The estimated total in the amount of $207,695 was calculated as a sum of all the rows in the column B. An actual total was calculated the same way. Now, let's say that we need to reference these two values. To reference both values, you would need to type equal sign, uh, name of the table, and then in square brackets, you would need to type totals, and then close the square bracket. And it brings the entire totals row. As you see, column A doesn't have anything. Column B has um, the total for estimated uh, values, and column C has total for actual values. So it actually copied all four values from the totals row, uh, starting from the column F. To reference total for the actual column only, you would need to specify equal sign, then uh, company uh, expenses table, reference the Excel table name, then op open double square brackets and uh, reference totals, close the first square bracket, and after comma, specify a specific um, column that we're looking for. In our case, this is actual. And then close the double square brackets and hit uh, enter. And you see that this, using this uh, formula syntax, we specified and referenced the uh, total for the actuals column of the company expenses table. And now, back to our original problem. Let's go ahead and create a budget from the imported data. Because data in all three tabs comes as Excel ranges, first step we need to do is convert all the data into Excel table. To do that, let's select all the data. In the first step, company operating expenses, and you can do conversion in multiple ways. You can click insert table, and it uh, confirms the range that we want to convert, and we say yes, and it converted it into a table. Let's do the same thing for other uh, tabs uh, and uh, now let's do a different way. I'm going to use shortcut control T and it prompts me with the same uh, confirmation box and con uh, conversion is complete. And let's do exactly the same thing for the uh, revenues, company's revenue. So we selected the range and click uh, table, convert to table. And now we have all three items converted into Excel table. As you can see, these tables do not have total values. Uh, so for tables, it's easy to add this. You just need to select the table, go on to table design on the menu and click add total row. And we need to do it for all the values here. You see the table uses subtotal and uh, 109 is the sum uh, formula. So we can uh, copy this value. Uh, to do that, we can just do copy and then paste it here. And now we have both totals. With Excel tables, it does not support uh, relative references as it does with ranges. So what we have in the formula, we're still referencing total from the actual column. So we need to change it and refer to it as uh, estimated. And Excel provides us with some options. And now we clicked on this and now we have recalculated value for estimated. We need to do the same thing for personal expenses and operating expenses. So let's go to first uh, company personnel expenses. Uh, then we'll navigate to table design and add a total row. And we would need to do the same thing here. We can either retype it or we can use control C on the keyboard. That's what I'm going to do, control V. And we need to change it to estimated. So now we have calculations for personal expenses and uh, let's add total row 
for company operating expenses now and let's copy and paste values and replace actual with uh, estimated to calculate actual budget we need to get the summary of total values from each one of these tabs into the new tab so i'm going to create a new tab and i'll set it up with three columns description estimated and actual to operate effectively we need to give each one of the tables we created a name so for example if we go to table design the name for company revenue let's use the same name as the name of the top tab so we called it company revenue uh, we will call company personnel expenses as the table with the same name and we will give the third table name company operating expenses i'm going to keep the names of all three tables in notepad to have them handy and i'll show you why in a second one of the things that Excel allows you to do when you use Excel tables is that you don't have to necessarily reference tab by name. Table name is uh, valid across all Excel uh, spreadsheets and you can just reference it in your calculations and that's one huge advantage of using Excel tables. In the summary table I added three rows revenue, personal expenses and operating expenses. Now let's bring in the data from company revenue. To do that I'm going to use the name of the table and that's all I need um, I can just say equals and then this is the name of the table open uh, double square brackets and Excel recognizes that this is the table that we already have in another tab you just need to know that it's somewhere in the spreadsheet you don't necessarily need to reference tab by name and then here what we would like to do we would like to ensure that we're getting totals so uh, pound uh, all brings all the data and you can reference all the data in our case we're only interested in totals so let's reference totals here uh, close first square bracket and then uh, use comma and open second square bracket and we're interested uh, for column b in the estimated values and i'm going to close both square brackets and hit enter and expand it a little bit and the amount is for revenue estimated as $734,290. Let's verify that. We we'll go back to company revenue and the amount matches exactly. Now let's do the same thing for other relevant categories of uh, revenue and personnel expenses. The easiest way to replicate the data is to just do copy and paste. And you can copy and paste formula or you can copy and paste formula and just change the table name or you can just change change the column values I'll show you all different options here last step in creating a budget is uh, understanding the totals right now we can just add a sum functions and do auto sum for this three rows but it's not going to be accurate because what we need to account for is the fact that revenue is a positive amount and typically expenses represented as a negative amount so first step to do is to change uh, the sign on uh, expenses to do that we need to select an expense and uh, add a minus sign and then make it negative for all the expenses once this is done we can add the sum formula now let's do some minor tweaks we can name the tab as budget and we can add formatting to this table we can choose one of the many styles available in Excel we can also add total here as uh, the calculated value for row 5. You might want to consider changing the uh, header row to use a different color. Now let's look at the budget itself. It looks like the estimated value was estimated as negative uh, between revenue and operating expenses. And the actual actually was positive, so which means that we've earned more money than we spend here we've estimated that we spend um, more than we earn so it turned out positive and that's basically the conclusion we can come out with by looking at all these numbers from the company revenue personal expenses and operating expenses that we started with if you found this content valuable please give this video a thumbs up subscribe to this channel and share with your friends to help them learn faster thanks again for watching and i'll see you in my next video